Hurricane Irma took lives and left thousands homeless in the Caribbean region since making landfall earlier this week. The Category 5 storm blacked out most parts of Puerto Rico before heading to the Dominican Republic and Haiti. Cho Song Min, give us the updates. Hurricane Irma is due to hit the American mainland by the weekend, but it's already left tremendous damage in Puerto Rico. According to the U.S. Territories Emergency Management Agency, heavy downpours and strong winds have blacked out much of the island, leaving 900,000 people without electricity and nearly 50,000 without water. Hospitals are relying on generators. A public power company in the region says the aftermath of the storm could have a long-term impact, some areas likely to be without power from four to six months. Irma packing winds of around 300 kilometers per hour is reportedly the most powerful storm ever recorded in the Atlantic. Experts say it will most likely remain a Category 4 or 5 storm for the next two days. So far, it's killed at least nine people on its tier through the Caribbean. Barbuda is said to be literally underwater and barely inhabitable. It is reported that half of the island's population is now homeless and that it will cost $100 million to rebuild. Meanwhile, the state of Florida, which is expecting Irma on Sunday, is doing whatever it can to prepare for and avoid major damage. 7,000 National Guard troops are to be deployed on Friday, and tourists and residents have already started to evacuate. Cho Song-min, Arirang News.